Okay, can you see here a little bit? Well, so we're, we're in Unit 15 of Hamster and Kuhn. We're talking about um, two pieces of syntax that are appropriate for, on the one hand, the, the verb to be, a uh, uh, kind of syntax that you use with the verb to be, and on the other hand, something that's appropriate for the word tis and t. Um, the first one is a construction of a sentence with a verb to be. Um, let, let's think about just sentences with a verb to be in general. Uh, just to remind you, in, in English we make this mistake, but you're supposed to say if somebody asks if you knock on the door and somebody says, who is it? You're supposed to say, it is I. Nobody <laughs> does that. But grammatically speaking, you're supposed to say, it is I and not it's me, because mm -hmm. The verb to be doesn't have direct objects. It's an equal sign, grammatically speaking, and what's on either side of it. Um, it should be in the same case. Okay, so, and that's the way it works in Greek. So, this is an elephant. You put this in the nominative case and the elephant in the nominative case in Greek. Um, the, there, there, so, there are no direct objects in a sentence with the verb to be. Um, there's what we call that construction. This is an elephant, a predicate nominative. Um, the other common construction with the verb to be is this thing called the dative of the possessor. Um, in a lot of languages other than English, um, this is a construction that people use. So, for example, in Romance languages, I think in all of them, you can say, um, instead of, um, I, I own this book, you can say, this book is to me, mm. right? It's mm -hmm. the dative pronoun of the verb to be. The reason we don't have it in English is because we don't have any more dative pronoun of the verb to be. We only have an accusative, okay, of the of the pronoun. So, so this book is to me is a way of saying this is my book. I own this book. I have this book, um, and that's what we're talking about in Greek. Um, you can say to to ta ta biblion. This book, estin is, and emoi to me. Um, to ta ta biblion. Not working. Technical difficulties. There you go. To Tata Biblion. Accusative. That's it. Heston and Moy. Grab accent on the end. <laughs> yep. And Moy. Okay. And Emily and is... a cute accent on the on, that's that's the dative. We're going to learn this just in, in the next part of this lesson. That's the dative of the word for I, M Y. So that it's I think in English people get taught to translate that sentence. I have this book, or this book is mine. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think this book is mine is really more like it, right? right? Um, so so uh, you know it's not an indirect object. Okay, it's a possessive dative. Okay, any dative. In a sentence with a verb to be is a possessive dative. All right, okay. is the basic construction. That's one thing: the dative of the possessor. And then um, the other thing is the so-called adverbial accusative. Um, and basically, this is just a kind of extension of the construction that we had a couple of lessons ago, where you have um, uh, the accusative, so-called accusative of respect, mm -hmm. that somebody is beautiful in respect to their hair or beautiful in respect to their eyes, and you use the adjective kalos, and then you put eyes or hair in the accusative case. Okay. So you can also say, in respect to what thing are you happy? <laughs> okay? So you can take the word de, okay, okay. And, and have it mean um, in, in what way, okay? Um, or it can mean why, just te at the beginning of the sentence mm -hmm. can mean both what, question mark, and why, because it can be a so-called adverbial accusative, accusative, because it means in what way, or uh, um, in, in that sense. Um, the other examples in the book are the expression tina tropon, that's mm -hmm. the word tropon for way, with the uh, interrogative tis in front of it, in the accusative case, and that means literally in what manner, with respect to what way, mm -hmm. okay? Um, and lastly, they tell you that there are certain nouns in Greek, like the noun telos, um, which is a, a neuter noun of the third declension, of the genos type, that can just, occurs often at the beginning of the sentence, and it means in 
in the end. Okay, finally. <laughs> okay, so in other words, with respect to the end, right? Yeah. So the book all these accusative, accusative, adverbial accusative is just really accusative of respect without an adjective. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Great. Thanks.